Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the voice of the customer. Hi, Ifat. It's good to be here. Awesome. Thanks for joining us because I know you have so many great tips and resources for everyone. If you want to join in the Hangout and talk to John face-to-face -face and learn more about how to uh, listen to the voice of your customers, in the event page there is a link to join the Hangout. We welcome you there. Okay, so John is also an author, best known for product creation and multinational product launches. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And today you are telling us the number one thing that we need to do to create loyal customers. Um, yeah. Right? So yeah. how do we do that? How do we dive into that? <laughs> well, okay, Eva, let me, let me ask you, what do you, you think is more important to have, uh, a satisfied customer or a loyal customer? Um, I think it's a loyal customer, but, you know, we want them satisfied too, so it's kind of like a trick question, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is kind of a trick question, but it, and not really. I mean, really what you want to have is loyal customers. Um, and, and let me give you a good reason why. If you have a satisfied customer, what all that means is is they were happy about a particular transaction or maybe one engagement with you, uh, but the next time that they perceive somebody to have a better product or service or perhaps a lower price, they're off town to do business with the next guy. Uh, whereas a loyal customer will stick with you, they will do business with you over and over, they're going to refer you to uh, you know their friends and relatives. So what you really want is loyal customers, and that's you know one of the things that uh, we should be striving for all the time, and not just satisfied. It's important to look beyond just customer satisfaction. So this is important because um, you're saying make them happy, but also make them loyal. How do you suggest that you know a solopreneur today can make loyal customers? Well, I, I think the first thing that you got to do is you have to listen to them. So that's where this whole voice of the customer idea comes in. It's about listening to what the customer is telling you they want and understanding what their needs are, understanding how they feel about um, things or doing business with your particular company. And so the number one thing you can do really is listen to your customers and they'll tell you what it is you need to do to satisfy them over and over and make them uh, more loyal, right? So. Yeah. 